Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha if it is your first time here and in today's video I wanted to keep it just kind of short and sweet. That's why I'm kind of three quarters of the way done here already. I am going to be testing out and using the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 eyeshadow palette as well as I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite nude lip combo. So a liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. This has been like the only nude lip I've been wearing for the past two to three months. Like unless I'm wearing like a red or something, this is the lipstick I'm wearing 24-7, this nude lip. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And let's just jump into it. So the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette Volume 1. That's kind of a mouthful of a name. The palette is super heavy. It feels really nice. It is that kind of like soft matte like NARS packaging so it is kind of already covered in fingerprints and a little dusty even though I haven't used it yet but I mean not one makeup palette I own isn't dirty on the outside like that's just how it goes um let's open it up so first things first it has this huge big daddy mirror which is amazing you know I always complain when palettes don't have mirrors and then let's just look at it so pretty so in Tati's video she said the kind of inspiration for this palette what she wanted to do was give you each shade so the way this palette works is so for instance right here in poet so you have this berry shade but then you have it in every formula so you have it in a shimmer a metallic and a glitter and same with the rest of the shades here and I just thought that was such a cool idea that you can have one shade in every formulation like if it's your favorite color form I said that weird kind of weird formulation um, so if it's like your favorite color you have it in every style that you want it in and I just thought that was so cool when I look at this palette I'm definitely drawn towards soothe story and a ritual which is kind of like the brownie orange shades I mean this shade in soothe right here whoo I'm really into it so I'm gonna just jump into it I'm really I keep saying like the same thing over and over so let's just do it I'm not gonna do anything crazy here I have a feeling that these eyeshadows are going to be just amazing quality I can't see Tati putting something out that isn't great quality I mean she's like the queen of reviews on YouTube so she knows what's up I feel like so first thing is I'm gonna go right into the shade soothe and start building up my crease that's pretty pigmented already I will say I felt like there was like nothing on the end of my brush like this is a pretty clean brush and I feel like I hardly dunked into it and pretty pigmented already I will say though for filming this mirror is like a little inconvenient so I'm gonna grab just my little hand mirror here so I can get up close and feel like I'm not blocking the whole screen Wow really really pretty really pigmented I felt like that blended out so fast <laughs> really pretty really quick and I do remember from watching in her video she said that you didn't need a whole lot of product like you don't really need to like dig your brush in there you just need a little bit and work with that because it's gonna blend out really far and it's gonna have a lot of pigment to it and that's something that I think is really important so if you're buying an influencer collab or if you're buying an eyeshadow palette like for instance with this Tati palette I made sure that I watched her video about the palette talking about the formulation the way that she recommends using the the shadows the way that they perform best before I go in and use it because you can go in and use something and then hate it and then watch and then be like oh only use a little bit or you know dab it instead of whatever and then it ends up performing a lot better so it's just kind of like educating yourself a little bit like don't jump the gun like do a little bit of research before you go in and do something so then I'm going to deepen that up a little bit I'm going to go in with ritual the matte and just get a little bit on my brush here like you can see just literally the tiniest amount 
and I'm gonna just deepen up my outer corner. Really pretty. Blending out so easy. They're blending into each other really seamlessly. And this look that I'm doing is literally the easiest, just kind of bronzy crease, smoked out, metallic on the lid type look I'm going to do. This is nothing revolutionary. I just was so excited about this eyeshadow palette. And I really wanted to use it, so I thought I would just throw it on camera, throw in a little bit something extra with the nude lip here, and call it a day. Now for the fun part, I'm going to put a metallic on the lid. So for the metallic, I think I'm going to go in with Ritual, and I'm just going to take my finger right in there. Feels really smooth, really creamy. And I'm going to put that right on the lid. Super smooth, I will say that, right off the bat. I'm almost like fully able to just blend it out with my finger. Really pretty, really smooth. And I'm just gonna kind of get the edges just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the metallic in Soothe just on my other finger and I'm going to focus that more on the inner corner to brighten it up. So this is what we got going on so far. Like I said, nothing crazy, just a basic ass smoky eye. Like, <laughs> but the quality... So I, this is my first try, like obviously I'm going to need to try it out a few more times, but just based purely on first impressions, the quality is unmatched. Beautiful quality. And so the thing about like, these are all neutral colors, right? Like pretty basic. We've seen this color story a million times. We've seen blacks and browns and oranges and berry shades, but the quality of it and the fact that I just put on this bronze eye in literally like three minutes. Like it took me no time, hardly any blending at all. And it looks beautiful. It's super seamless. It looks really pretty. The fact that I did that so quick and so easy has a lot to say about the quality of the eyeshadows and the blendability of the eyeshadows, the pigmentation. There's not a lot of wasted time with it. You can go in real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye real quick. Same exact thing. Eyes pretty much done. I just have to do the lower lash line. So far, I'm super impressed. The shadows are really creamy, really blendable. I mean, they're beautiful. The metallics go on so smooth. They're not chunky. They're super reflective. Almost didn't even need to like go in and do the additional blending. Once I put the metallic on with your finger, it's almost enough. So now I'm going to hit the under eyes here, and I think I'm going to do the shade Story, so this orangey shade. I'm just gonna go in with the pencil brush and I'm gonna blow that out on my lower lash line. It's like a really beautiful burnt orange. And just get right in on that lower lash line. So I just put the orange on the lower lash line. I thought that'd be really pretty and kind of add like a little pop on there. So I'm going to throw some mascara on, then I'll do like a quick rundown of the whole palette, and then we'll throw on the nude lip. I'm so excited to share this nude lip with you guys. It is like <sighs> amazing. Okay, so mascara's on. I feel like mascara always makes me feel like I'm put together. Let's just do a quick rundown of the palette. 
So it is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 Palette. So it is $48 for 24 pans of shadow and currently it is sold out but it is available for pre-order and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be restocked around holiday time. So it comes with six colors and it comes in the different textures. So matte, sequin, metallic, and a glitter for each one of the six colors. And it says here, let's see about the palette. I believe, yeah, it says on the back of the palette. So this palette is cruelty-free, vegan, and that's that. It's made in the United States. It's made in California. So if that's something you're concerned about too, 24 shadows for $48. That is a luxury eyeshadow price. I will say that. I believe the Urban Decay shadow palettes are $52. The Anastasia palettes are usually about $40. So it is a luxury high-end price. I wouldn't really think that Tati would put something out that wasn't, but I do think that it is from just this one time of me using it, I do think that it is worth it. The quality of just the packaging is really nice. It's really heavy. It's You could tell that it's really thought out. It comes with the ginormous, really good quality mirror in here. The shades are beautiful. Yes, they are basic. Yes, we've seen those colors before, but the quality, I think, speaks for itself. It literally took me less than 10 minutes to throw on this really nice smoky eye. The shadows blended out so quick, so easy. The metallics were beautiful. They layered onto each other really well. So I would definitely say check it out. $48 really isn't that much for the quality you're getting. And if you're looking for just one eyeshadow palette with some basics, this is it. This is amazing. This will last you forever. It's beautiful. Like, I, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's beautiful. And Tati is one of those YouTubers that I trust every single thing she says. She has never recommended a product that I have went out and bought that I didn't like. I love her style of reviews. I love that she reviews everything, no matter the price, drugstore or super high-end luxury. I love that she just go straight for it, gives her full opinion. She tests things out. I really do trust what she said. I've been watching her for like five or six years now and every single product that I've ever bought off her recommendation, I have loved, whether it be drugstore or high end. So that's it with the eyeshadow palette. I don't want to go on and on about it forever. Like I said, I kind of wanted to keep this video short and sweet. I already had really high expectations for the palette and it definitely met if not exceeded my expectations. So let's move on to this nude lip. This nude lip combo I have been rocking for probably three months straight. I don't think that I've grabbed another lipstick unless it was a red than this lipstick. Like this is the only nude that I can see myself wearing for a while. The formulation of the products, the color, just everything about it. I'm gonna get into it. I need to like wipe off my lips. I got like foundation or something on it. I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to show you this lip combo because it is so bomb. Okay, so the first thing for this lip combo is this lip liner. I actually picked this up, I think at like Rite Aid or something. It was super random. This is the Koki Professionals Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Warm Nude. So the first thing that caught my eye about this lip liner is, I don't know if you can tell, it has kind of like a pencil grip <laughs> type grip on it. It's really nice. It's really pretty. It's just kind of a, you know, a retractable lip liner, but it is like the perfect warm nude for me. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this right now. I'm going to overline slightly, but like not a whole lot. It is the perfect nude lip liner for me. It's a little bit darker than my lips, but it's not too pink, it's not too brown. I prefer a more brown peachy nude than I do a pink, but this one here is like the perfect in-between for me. It just looks so good and it is so smooth and so easy when it goes on. Plus it lasts a really long time. It's a really comfortable lip liner. Sometimes I'll watch a bunch of like lip videos on Instagram and then I'll get all cocky thinking I can like line my lips like these people can just like doo -doo -doo -doo, super fast and then I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and fix that. Okay, liner is on. I filled in my lips about three quarters of the way. 
it is so comfortable you could honestly even just wear this liner on its own and then I'm going into the lipstick so I have mentioned this lipstick before in a favorites video and when I mentioned it then it was a favorite but I still well like then it was a favorite and I was like oh this is a great nude I've been loving it but now I'm like I can't see my life without this lipstick and it's been a while since I've had a product where I'm like this is the only product I need in my life this is the Charlotte Tilbury hot lips to lipstick in the shade Angel Alessandra first of all the packaging on these hot lips are beautiful they all have the gold tube but they all have a different design on it this one has Jaguars on it <sighs> let me just open it up it is the perfect warm peachy nude for me I love this lipstick so much so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna do a little bit and it has such a good smell Yeah, it's, it's like vanilla-y. It's like a vanilla buttercream almost. I'm going to take my finger. Just kind of move it around. This lipstick is so comfortable. I would say it's like a, a satin demi-matte finish. It's not a complete matte. It's not super like creamy and shiny. But it is so comfortable. And to me, it's just like the perfect peachy noon. It lasts so long. I could be drinking my coffee. If I eat a whole meal, it's just a traditional lipstick, so it's going to come off a little bit. But just from like everyday normal talking, the lipstick itself lasts very long. It is, so, I can't even begin to explain how comfortable it is. Like it doesn't even feel like I have a lipstick on right now. So then I go in and I top it with a gloss. This gloss here is the Thrive Cosmetics. What is this called? This is the Thrive Cosmetics Gloss in the shade Ruth. So it is like a nice nude shade with like micro gold shimmers in it. And I just take a little bit. Kind of keep it more towards the middle of my lips. Then you know, give it one of those. And it just adds the perfect level of kind of shine on there and glossiness and it doesn't add too much pigment not too much color so it doesn't really affect the lipstick that much it's not too sticky it's not too thick and goopy it doesn't really have a scent but I just think that it looks so good like this lip combo is my nude lip combo like this is literally all I've been wearing for a nude so pretty so comfortable like, I haven't even wanted to wear any other lipsticks. Usually I'm like, oh, let's do this, let's do that. I'm all over the place. And, like, this has just been, like, about it. Like, I, it's been in my purse. I'm taking it with me everywhere. I'm wearing it when I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm just throwing it on because I just think it's so pretty and it's so comfortable. And I do have a few other shades from the Hot Lips collection. And I will say that across the board, they are all beautiful. They are all super comfortable. There's a few reds, a few berries, mainly nudes and they are amazing check out these charlotte tilbury lipsticks they are a little bit expensive but it's so it's so worth it they are so bomb and that's it that's the video like i said i wanted to keep it you know pretty short and simple let me know in the comments down below if you've tried the tati beauty palette or even if you haven't just your thoughts on it I hope you love this nude lip combo as much as I do. As always, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms. On Instagram, it's at Natasha Josette Beauty. On Twitter, it's at Natasha Josette. I post here on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!